Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Breath Edge, the space science fiction game that puts you right in the thick of a massive space disaster. Now, those of you who've been following my videos on YouTube will know that I've been making all the stuff. I've been making food. I've been making water. I've been making oxygen generation systems. But one thing that's eluded me so far, and that I need to go and get, is glass. I need glass for the enhanced spacesuit, that will protect me from radiation. I need glass for the enhanced space helmet that will protect me from space radiation. And that's all well and good, but where do you get it? Well, it involves traveling along this massive long piece of the hulk of the ship. You're going to incur several bits of damage. First of all, radiation damage if you get too close to the end. You can heat yourself up by going near to these filaments, these glowing filaments that will defrost your helmet okay, allowing you to see. But you've got a couple of things that you've got to look out for. You've got to look out for the fact that you're going to run out of air. You've got to look out for the fact that you could run out of food. You could run out of water or just basically freeze to death. So it's worthwhile stopping off at those glowing filaments just to make sure that you've got heat management under control. Now, here I've got an oxygen station and I'm going to deploy that so I can refuel my oxygen. But before we go any further and find that glass for these advanced space items, click that like and subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. And also look at that notification bell. Ring that bell and that'll let you know when I'm putting more videos like this of Breath Edge, Elite Dangerous, Subnautica, Star Citizen. Oh, they are billions on YouTube. But anyway, on with Breath Edge and finding glass. So here we go, it's a part of the space station. You're gonna see these little nobules by here, these little globules of, of item, right? Um, that's a portal, it's very good. Uh, if you look up, that's glass. Now you can't just pick it up, you've gotta collect it. And you've gotta collect it with like one of those handy grabbers, all right, that you fashioned out of several bits of, of metal. There's my handy grabber and I've grabbed glass, but that's where it is. Go, on all, go all the way along that massive part of the hulk of the ship. Incur frosty damage. Make sure you've got your oxygen generator. Charge up on your oxygen. Then you can go back and forth quite easily without incurring too much damage and pick up these items of glass. Now I found about six to seven items of glass in this particular area and on this map I'm not familiar with any other area where you can find glass so that's basically where it is um, once you've charged up you can go back with your handy grabber um, and collect more items of glass I was able to collect two or three on the first burn of the oxygen because I didn't really know where this glass was going to be I just knew it was going to be in this general direction I'd searched everywhere else around the map and there you can see it. You can't just pick it up because it's going to rip your spacesuit. You've got to grab it with that handy grabber. A dangerous object, it says. I suppose it will do because if you're in a vacuum of space um, and you, you slash your suit, then you are basically knackered. So there you go. I've picked up all these items of glass, as much glass as I possibly could. There's little bits of metal as well floating around there. Always handy to have some metal. Quick look around some of the astronaut and the corpses around. Um... You know, I've got my scrapper as well, um, which I'm gonna start hitting some boxes with, see if I can get any additional items. Again, I'm running low on oxygen. Gotta get back to my oxygen tank and then eventually get back to the shuttle. Once I get back to the shuttle, I've got all the items like cloth, I've got plastics, I've got aluminium, I've got glass. I mean, I've got everything I need really to, to build these advanced parts of the spacesuit. Well, there's two parts, there's a spacesuit and there is the space helmet. That will protect you from radiation when you go on your final mission towards the bridge where the captain's quarters are. Uh, and then you're hopefully going to go and get hold of that space shuttle to get you out of the area. Now, this game is great and it's full of dark humour. Um, you've got an astronaut in full spacesuit tied bondage style to a pink boudoir sort of area with, you know, handcuffs and things like this. There's condoms floating around. There's people with a big screen television holding an old style Nintendo and the result of that, um, they've been hit by the, the television and killed. 
but you can pick up the game cartridge and what have you. But what do you take with you as you move on to the next part of the game, or you propose to move on to the next part of the game? This is only chapter one, Lost in Space. So what do you do? What do you take with you? Obviously, you're going to need to craft the space helmet and the spacesuit to actually get there. You're going to need to have to have oxygen candles and the like. Now, my oxygen's running up, running out. I have just about got to the stage where I'm going to get back to the ship. And once I get back to the ship, then I can create those additional items. Okay, so we're back. Not too much damage incurred. Over to the workbench. I need additional items. I need plastic. I need lead paint. I need aluminium. We've got all these in the storage cupboard. Got them all in the suitcase as well. So there's my fabric. There's a big roll of fabric. There is my aluminium. Might as well put it all in there just in case I need to get anything else. Over to the desk. What can I build? Nothing as yet. What have I left? Lead paint and plastic. Let's go back. Into the suitcase. There's my plastic. There's my lead paint. Just to make sure we've got everything. Over to the workbench. What have we got? Right, equipment. Spacesuit. Let's have it. There it is. And I can't build the helmet because I need more aluminium. But I've got aluminium, so that's okay. Or have I? I don't think I have. I have to go and check the suitcase, see what additional items I need. So the spacesuit is there. That's going to protect me from radiation in the game. Into there. Have I got aluminium knocking about? I don't believe I have. What have I got in the upstairs overhead container? There's two aluminium there. We'll have that. One and two. Is that enough to make a helmet? Yes, it is. Excellent. So now I've got the upgraded helmet. I've used glass, plastic, aluminium, fabric, plastic, lead paint, aluminium, fabric on the helmet. I'm ready to go on my final journey. But on this video, that'll be the subject of another video. But thanks very much for watching. I've been Ricardo and this has been Breath Edge. I've crafted the upgraded space helmet. I've crafted the upgraded space suit with lead paint, plastic, glass, cloth. All these other items as well. I found glass along that hulk. I haven't frozen to death. But hey, who knows? It's going to be a long old game. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.